popped it out. Bring it up a 31, 33 out of in the hole, 31 out of the hole. So we're gonna find out. Oh, it's a seeded. All right, today is my last day to go metal detecting on this preacher digger round trip around the United States. It's a lot of traveling just to do three days of uh, detecting. And um, I've been, I came up here to, 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 uh, to look for a large scent and I did not find one. I did find one, but did not find one. It was something it made into one. Or we think it may be one, but not sure. But I want one that's legible, one with a date, one that I know that it's a US large scent. So today we're going door knocking with Can You Dig It, Seth Newkirk. And uh, so we're gonna go out and do some door knocking, get on some old houses and just, just hunt some old yards. And hopefully I can come across a large scent or two so that'd be really, really good. That would be my ultimate coin because I don't have one. We don't have those in my area. And I made this far of a travel to find one. So I hope I, I do. I hope I do. So wish me luck and uh, I'll see you guys out in the yard. Well, I'm out here today with Can You Dig It, Seth Newkirk. And we have got this uh, little old schoolhouse right here. And we're kind of hunting right out here in the front of it. And he found the first good signal, and uh, it's a little little ring, but what's interesting about this ring is a monogram ring. Let me show you. You know, check that out, guys. The monogram ring probably dates back to the date of this school right here. Yeah, sometime around late seven, or late 1800s, 1870s. Well, you got the first good one. Yep. Let's sure. keep at it. Well, I was getting an 18 to a 19, about six inches deep, and just popped it up. Check this out, guys gonna be another ring Seth just found a ring and uh, this one has a little got a ring this one's gonna be plated gold plated but we may find a lot of rings out here check this out maybe cleaned it up yet oh yeah oh wow What's it's that? got a little fancy on it doesn't it yeah absolutely up like an 1819. Yeah, man, that's beautiful. Give that a little spritz. We may find several that's rings beautiful. out here. Beautiful stone on top there. Yeah, it's got a design on it. Awesome. Let me clean this up and let me see what it looks like. Seth calling me over. Oh, that's nice, man. I like digging those things. Yeah, it's coming up about a 22. That's probably the, the key to the old schoolhouse. Yep. Try well, on the front door. Go on, lock the door and go back in time. Congratulations, man. Hey, Another you. good find out here in the, in the schoolyard. Right here. What time? What did this date back to? Huh? What did this date back to? He said the deed was 1879, but it could be older. 1879. And it's been siding on it, but it's got a stone, sandstone uh, rocks and stuff like that foundation. So we know it's old. All right, let's keep going. Gravelly looking stuff. Yeah. 1901 Indian head. That's good. 1920. Bring up on Nico. There's a 22. 2022. There's a lot of iron in here, too. Yeah. So it's hard to. It's a lot of gravel over there where I'm at. Yep. All right, man. Congratulations. Okay. Happy with You're that. killing it, man. It's getting a 21, 22. Thought it was going to be a weedy. I've been digging a lot of uh, copper piping in this area. So I haven't been really too excited about what I'm finding. Anyway, let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. There it is. Looks like it's going to be Model T Ford or. Yeah, Model T Ford valve stem cover I'll take those I like that kind of stuff oh look at there I passed this up I looked and looked and looked for this while ago and I could not find it it's a first for me and uh, oh that's a Canadian I think it's French actually French I think and I gave up on this signal I could not find it you can rub it okay yeah that's a beautiful coin oh, one more time. That's a hole too. What's that gonna be? I thought I seen some times on the back when I called you over. It's 50, 1919. Wow, that is an awesome find. I gave that to you, didn't I? Right. I looked for this and looked for this. I dug two nails out of here oh, yeah. and I gave up on it. There's and so much uh, just different things in this. And I passed here. it. Well, that's yours, man. Check Appreciate that it. out. Yeah, it's the first I've never found it. What is it? A 1919? It says 50 cent times, so 50 cent piece from France, I suppose. Wow. 
Well, that's silver. Yep, Republic of France. A French coin. Yep. All right, let me get a picture of that. Hold it up. That's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, it's real hot. And I dug several nails out of that hole. And I just, my, my pro pointer was fossing and I just gave up and went on. And he was persistent and found him a nice French silver coin. All right, there's got to be more. Let's get at it. Getting a 12 to a 13. Thought I was going to dig a nickel, but I got a silver plated spoon. All right, let's keep on rolling. We moved on from that last location. We got us an 1850s home here. We uh, jumped out here. Seth came over here and gave me this target. Oh, it's pretty deep. Look at this. Nine inches deep. Popped it out. Bringing up a 31, 33 out of in the hole. 31 out of the hole. We don't know what it is yet. It's white looking too. So we're going to find out. Oh. It's a seated. Yep. It is a seated quarter. My first seated quarter. <laughs> I bet you're sick now, I'm aren't you? Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Seth is sick. He gave me this quarter. 1876. Check that out. Oh, wow. Perfect condition. Look at that. Oh, this is a this is a beautiful, my first seated quarter ever. Gosh, look at that. Thank you, Seth. You're welcome. Oh, you're shooting yourself now. <laughs> no, it's all right. And just no more largies, huh? <laughs> oh, I tell you what, that's better than a largie. Check that out. First target, the 1876 seated quarter. Oh, my goodness, that's beautiful. This condition. may be a good yard for us. Let's yeah. get some pictures and keep swinging. <laughs> Thank you, man. You're welcome. It's a big old tree right out here in the front. Beautiful spot out here in Ohio. We moved on to a new location here. This house, he says, what, 1700s? He says 1700s. 1700s house. Beautiful big yard. Got a, a, a 2022 here. And got a real nice, uh, fancy buckle. I don't see any writing on it. But that may be a good sign there's going to be more stuff in here. Okay. What do you think about that? One. That's yeah. 1800s. Oh, yeah. That's yep. definitely a pretty one. Definitely 1800s. All right. The landowner wants to see everything. Good brass buckle. All right. Let's keep on rolling. Let's get in a 13. Got a decorative button here. I can get it up out of the shadow for you. I'll take it. We've got a couple of flat buttons here. Can you dig it set there? Dug them up right over here, so we're definitely in a button area. Yeah. Seth gave the Indian sign. Well, that's our first one out of the yard. Yep. Probably about five inches. What's the date? We don't know yet, do we? I think it's 82. Carol wipe. These coins are coming out beautiful in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. 1888, 83. 1883. 1883. Nice greeny. All right, man. There's one. There's got to be one little, two little, three little Indians. So let's keep at it. Got a 22. Just dug this little cream. Open it up. I was hoping there'd be a coin in it, but nothing but dried makeup. It's not that old, I don't think. Maybe early 1900s. All right, let's keep going. In the plug here, he says. Seth is calling me over. Let's see what he's got. Alright guys, just pop this out of the plug. It's oh. like a 25 signal. I'm Check sure that out. Cut piece of eight. I think you're alright. It's my first cut. Silver. Wow, look at that. Amazing. I'll get a close up for you guys in a second. My camera would not focus. Oh, gone. That's a good find, man. That's a cut eight real. Check that out. What'd that ring up? It was like a 24. Then it jumped up to a 28. Wow, congratulations, man. Thanks, man. What do you think about that? Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Never found a cut before. Yeah, I know that's what that is. Oh, yeah, there's the crown. It's thick like that. There's the crown. 
that's a cut piece of eight. I wonder if there's any more out here. There's seven <laughs> more pieces somewhere. Okay. Wow. Let me see that again. My camera wasn't focused up. That is nice. Got weight to it too. I'm gonna set that right there and get a picture. That looks like the, the head. No, that's not a that doesn't look like an eight. I see the number. A that that right looks there. like a the head of Liberty. Well, I wonder if that's a Morgan dollar or something. Could be. Good job, man. Digging a real scratchy. 22. Turned out to be a very old door handle. I come up here to get a largey. And this sucker's already got a, he got it over here. He gave me the our first one up there and I got that seated quarter. Oh my goodness. Can I pluck it? Oh yeah, pluck it. Pretty sure it's plugged. One cent. Well, the one thing I'm coming up here for to get, and it looks like it's going to be a, oh. I think it's a matron. The way it's matron. Let's see if we can. 18. I can't tell. Man. Let me put it right there and get a picture. I hate you. <laughs> oh, congratulations, man. He got it. The one thing I'm looking for. All right. Dude. I can't believe it. You got a quarter cut. Right when I said I got a square now, I dug deeper and that came up. That's 17 something. There's the date right there. 17 and the other part's cut off. Yeah. So. Happy with that. I mean, I've never got a cut silver, so now I've got two. Two My cut silvers, made. yeah. I mean, and a largey. This is gonna be the cut yard for sure. Hold that. Let me get a picture of that right there. Let me hold these up. Wow. Well, if you get a 28, just let me have it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this was a 23. Yeah, that was right in your line. That's right, kind of in the line with the other one, wasn't it? it was kind one of one line over. Yeah, one, one line over. over. Sure was. Gosh, look at that, man! You're having a killer, killer day. Let me get in closer right there. There you go. Congratulations, man. I'm glad we stopped. <laughs> you worked the mojo and we got it. Let's keep going. There's got to be more. What'd this ring up as? It was like choppy, like 21, yeah. 22. Deep. Check that out. Is that a barrel tap? Yeah, it is barrel tap. See it? Right there. It's all goes just like that yep. hammer it in piece is broken I that's a good it. find though man yeah, yeah still stuff out, still stuff out here yep out here under the tree coming back over here in the front yard and uh, we dug those pieces Seth dug those pieces of cut silver right in here that's getting a 27 28 I think this is melted silver it's ringing up like silver. It's got some weight like silver. It's not aluminum and it's not lead. I'll have to test it and double check. I'll let you know when I make the video what it's going to be. All right, Seth, we did it, man. A full day of detecting, just going down the road, doing door knocking. I appreciate you taking me out today. And uh, I had a good day. Seth had a phenomenal day. One of the best metal detecting days I've seen in a long time. Yep and uh we we dug a lot of trash we hit a lot of yards we got a lot of no's but we got a few yeses but the yeses paid off so let me spin you around let me show you what we got well that is my trash you can see we are digging a lot of trash today lots of stuff seth has a lot of trash too he dug just as much he's got all his in a bucket uh yeah he's got he's got a whole bucket full of trash so we dug a lot a whole lot of stuff today but he had a really good day. He's got some clad, got a bunch of wheat pennies. I mean, he killed me on the Wheaties today. If we were playing the Wheatie game, he he destroyed me. He destroyed me, period. This is one of my best, uh, one of the best finds that I think he got is that one. One of them. And uh, I came all the way to Pennsylvania and Ohio to get this. And look who gets it. <laughs> he gets it. But there's a story. He wouldn't let this one go by because the, fir the first one target he let go by it turned out to be a real good coin for me but he got a what is that 18 28 i believe 18 28 uh is that a classic head matron matron yeah. um 
So he got a largey and he had four Indian heads, but check this out. I missed this one myself and left it in the hole because I had, uh, uh, and I gave that one to him and he got it. But look at this. He got two pieces of cut. That's a piece of eight. And this is a cut pistarine, we believe. And where most of this came from, even my stuff, came from what they call, I think it's an old stagecoach stop. And this is where we found these cut pieces right here. A lot of the Indians, the barrel tap. He got him a thimble, got him a uh, Model T Ford. What did you say that was? I think it's a buggy brake. A buggy brake. Well, that would make sense coming out of that yard we were in. It has a uh, yeah. there. Got an old knife. He killed it on the buttons. All this, all this was just in one general area that he found. It was on his side of the yard. I was started on the other side. Got him a uh, wannabe silver knife and uh, some good flat buttons. Real good tomback buttons. Check that out. And some decorative stuff. We stopped at a schoolhouse on our first stop. He got him a monogram ring and I got me a ring. Got him an old, we know that's old because it's iron. And uh, a little knickknack stuff, shotgun stamps. But man, his best finds are gonna be that right there. That's a silver. This was a 1919, um, is that French Canadian? Probably. Um, I don't know what it says, but it's a pretty coin. Hold, check that. A hold coin there, and a hold coin there. You got two hold coins, but this right here, gonna it's the find of the day right there. That is unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. All right, here comes my measly things. I did find a uh, old. I don't know what you call that. Milk Probably glass. milk glass. A car. Got an old spoon out of the deal got some clad i dug these up thinking they're going to be largies but just modern quarters i got uh, a harmonica reed that was in the same hole both on top of one another just like that uh got an old buckle this 1800s i've got about four of these i believe it's horse tack another little d buckle i've got a model t4 we got those out of the same yard same as the rings uh i did get two wheaties mine are i think the oldest like in 1920s uh, got a decorative button, and then I got a really cool gold-plated ring, same as you see her now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Little Indian lady. Same yard as that ring right there, just not very far away. We both got rings, and it's got a little cameo. I don't know if you, if that's a signet ring or what. You know, you can just get wax or what. But she's pretty. I take her. And my find of the day, thanks to Seth, he was giving me what he thought was a largey and told me to dig it, and we popped it out, and it came out to be an 1876 seated quarter. Beautiful. And if he, it should be that right there, he would have had a really killer day, but he gave me the signal and told me I could have it, so I took it. And uh, I'm glad, because I've never dug a, a seated quarter before. And so, we had a real good day. Seth had a phenomenal day. And, uh, but there it is. There's all the trash. And there's all of our treasures. So Seth, what do you think about it, man? Yeah, it was a blast. Really I appreciate it. you Great having me up, you. man. Yeah. I have to come back now. Oh yeah, we're still, in, we're still in, we're still in looking for a, 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 a largey there. So yeah. there's all the trash and there's all the treasure. Like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can find and sit on the back of your tailgate. The tra greatest treasure, what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>